The cattle's loud. <laughs> Alright, that's enough. Let's get into it. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, and everything in between is I, your host, okay, with the most, is your boy, Young Lord Marco, Marco the Kettle from the Kettle's Lounge. And today we have a treat for me, a treat for you, another cheap game, another cheap platinum. Now this one, for the people who do occasionally browse my channel, will know. There is a, a similar game called Ascend Shaft and Endless Shaft. And guess what? It's the exact same game. This is the first half of that game. This is Ascend Shaft and it has released as its own standalone game. Same trophies apply as that game, I believe. And the previous game I did was Dragons in Space, it has roughly the same trophy uh, guide, if you will. You will remember the studio that ported this, I believe it is the ones who ported it. And not created it. And that is the ones who did Violetti Gotti, Dragons in Space, Lady Nelliotard with a gun and Spectre Woods very old school time game if you will and this one has a very asteroids feels to it uh, old school arcade game um, but let's get on to the trophy list you have 11 like always you have beat level 1 beat level 2 beat level 3 Beat level 4, beat level 5 and beat both boss fights without taking damage. Then you have beat the game, you have beat a level without killing an enemy, and you have kill 50 enemies without dying. So here you'll see is actually where I get the kill 50 enemies without dying and you'll come to find that I actually spent over an hour on this game however both time uh, the the hour I spent recording on my first go through it didn't save I quit the application before saving the recording and um, well, here we are. So I believe there's seven levels in total, two boss fights, five levels. Well, of course, that's how you get the achievements. Few difficult ones, but overall, it's not very hard. I think the hardest part is the final boss fight, like most of these games will be. First level get is a inter introductory. Second level uh, gives you more of an environmental introduction. Level three increases the challenge. Level four is a boss fight. Level five is level five introduces a new mechanic. I think. Yes, it introduces a new mechanic that isn't further expanded on, unfortunately. Level 6, the same but a different mechanic is introduced that is used in the final boss fight. And, of course, level 7 is the final boss fight. Now, for those of you who are confused on how to beat this boss fight here, all you have to do is when the spaceship comes down you hold your circle button and you boost past him and that's how you beat the first boss now like I said I have played a game called Ascent Shaft and then the Shaft and if anyone remembers to that video I do believe in that video I say Ascend Shaft is one of those games which initially got me quite annoyed because it was it seemed like such a simple game however it was so challenging 
this time I, I didn't feel like that whatsoever. It like there was uh, I definitely had a greater amount of patience this time than when I initially completed Ascent Shaft and Ember Shaft. Another good part about this Platinum is you don't have to deal with Endless Shaft, thankfully, because referring back to that video, Endless Shaft is actually impossible uh, unless you cheat. Uh, and there's a way to cheat. But that's for that video and not here. If you want to know how to cheat on that game, well, go look at that video. So this is a new mechanic I'm, I, I was talking about for level 5 where there's sort of housing or cannons firing blocks that get in your way and once we get to level 6 here you will see the new mechanic which is dun 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 rockets and as you can tell I've already got my 50 kills by that point but yeah these rockets certainly are I think on a first go through of this mission it will certainly infuriate you a little I'd say because yeah, it, it does get quite I want to say frustrating but does get quite difficult once you you know not gone past that point and here we go on to the boss fight the final mission in the game And that's the other trophy. I now remember. I was wondering why my recording was so long. I now remember. Because you have to die 10 times. Uh, which isn't the hardest thing to do. Yeah, you'll definitely get it inside your playthrough. So I'm going to speed through this. Show you the final bit where I beat the boss. Then uh, I'll show you how to do a level pacifist. Here we are, onto the bit where I actually beat it. I'm sorry if you can hear the dogs. They always love to bark, those pesky hounds. So a thing I'd like to say in this is try and save your boost, save your ammo, so you're always prepared to dodge things because the boost certainly comes in handy in dodging like the missiles for example and norm normally when you are doing damage you can do it in bursts so that's why I say hold on to it however doing one shot at a time where you can also is effective because you're slowly chipping away at that armor the health so that's not a bad idea either Also, staying as far away from the missile drops as you can, if you can, get behind them, but they can't attack you. Boasting past the bullets. Then I believe, any second now, we should have the boss beaten. And just like that, we're on his last trophy. Pacifist. Percent. 0% run. The only advice I can really give on this is the dark grey bit of the wall can't kill you so as you'll see after this bit of enemies here I hug that up until I need to move in between the gaps but that has been 
SN Chef Platinum. And I have been your host with the most of it. It has been your boy, Young Lord Marco Marco the Kel from the Kel's Lounge. And I will see you in the next one. Please like, please subscribe, comment, watch the play next. Goodbye.